Tourists visiting Codra Valley are greeted with beautiful scenery and a home away from home feeling. With the recent discovery of a possible Viking settlement, tourists may have something else to add to their list. We were in Jamaica actually, and uh, we were just on a trip with a group of other wholesalers. And uh, we just met, we met different people and people had heard about it and they were, you know, because Well, just at that time it was all over the it news. It was everywhere. The time, BBC was yeah. blowing it up. And, and those, a lot of them are Newfoundlanders, so maybe this area, but if it's here, then it will, you know, it'll bring people to Newfoundland. More people while there's the plants and meadows, which a lot of people come for, so they'll have two spots there. Actually, I was born in the valley. I was okay. born in a community just two or three communities away, and I moved away. I was gone probably about four years, and then I came back to the valley, and myself and we started dating, and the rest is history. The lighthouse in K Banguil is currently one of the major tourist attractions in Codroy Valley. The lighthouse has been standing since the early 1900s and has been a staple of the community. Residents are hopeful that the lighthouse, coupled with the possible Viking site, will make Codroy Valley an even more popular tourist destination in Newfoundland. It's a bit early for the tourism season in this area. June, July, August is usually the peak season. Well, the actually proved that there's Vikings have been here, I would say it's going to make a big difference. Because you know, you get a lot of tourism in Northern Plains on account of it, so I would imagine it would be the same here. Eh? Well, I think it'll affect it in, in a positive way. I think it'll open us up. Uh, probably, as you've sensed, you know, we're a very tight-knit, small community in a way, but geographically very, uh, very spread out, very large. And uh, so uh, in terms of... Uh, how it's going to affect it. Naturally, I think it's going to bring in more traffic, but I think that there's some work to be done on part of the people to come together because we need to be ready if that's going to happen. I don't, I don't think there's going to be a major influx, uh, but you know, I think it's something that we all have to come together on and uh, offer, uh, you know, we, we, need, we need more uh, amenities here if that's going to be the case, for example, right? So yeah, I think it's going to uh, affect us positively though, yeah. Yeah, definitely create jobs. I mean, you know, um, tourism is a big thing. I mean, I mean, Newfoundland itself is, you know, we draw a lot of tourists in the summertime just from its beauty and its, you know, and just having those uh, sites like that, I mean, that's going to draw even more, you know, more interest in the area for sure. Or I'm thinking it would. Like, I mean, I'm sure that when people come here from other provinces, they go all over Newfoundland, but the areas that are known, like, you know, like Glance Meadows, I mean, they, they draw tourists to them specifically, you know what I mean? So, um, I think for Codroy Valley, it would be wonderful to, you know, for the economy, for sure, for creating local jobs, yeah. Oh, I would think so. I would think so. It's going to bring a lot of tourists. For sure, right? For sure. These people are going to be coming around with their campers, wanting a place to stay. They're going to be looking. It's going to be, it's going to be positive. Well, we named named Camp 22 after my son, who was born on the 22nd of May in 1975, and he also met a girl in Nova Scotia, Anna Knishio, who he married, and she was also born on May the 22nd, 1975. In 2002, he was killed in a plane crash. He was a pilot. And since then, his wife also died, and so I took their birth dates and used it as a name for the camp. This this here park is meant to be a family-oriented park. That was my dream, a place for people to bring their kids and enjoy and do things that my son never got to do. <laughs>